Hi, this is Rob Yates, and this is Lesson 8 in Algebra 1 Distance Learning. This is our second lesson of Week 3. If you have Ms. Boatwright, Ms. Reynolds, Mr. McRae, Mr. Still, Mr. Strickland, or Mr. Yates, you are in the right place. I remind you that you can stop this video at any time, rewind it, or fast-forward it as you please. Today's learning target is I can factor trinomials using the box and diamond method. I remind you that in generic rectangles, the basic form is ax squared plus bx plus c. If we multiply a times c, we get the top of our diamond and we put b in the bottom. So this would be a times c. Down here would go b, and then we find the two numbers that multiplied together equal the top number, and added together equal the bottom number. When we find those, we pop them into our generic rectangle to try and determine our sides, which amount to our product. For example, here is x squared plus 11x plus 30. In this particular example, a equals 1. There's nothing there, so we put a 1 in there, right? And b equals 11, and c equals 30. a times c goes up here. 1 times 30 is 30. b goes down here b is 11. So now we need the two terms that multiplied together equal 30, but added together equal 11. And I'm just going to go down the list. 1 times 30. Well, the product is right, but 1 times th plus 30 is 31, so that doesn't work for us. 2 times 15. Again, product is correct, but 15 plus 2 is 17, so that does not work. 3 times 10, again, is 30, but adds up to 13. 5 times 6 equals 30, but it also adds up to 11. So here we go. These are our numbers, 5 and 6. We could have already put in our x squared here and our 30 up here, and we're just filling in 5x up here, 6x down here. Now we're going to determine our sides. We start with an x, and we ask ourselves, x times what equals x squared? If you said x, you're correct. Once I have 1, it gets pretty easy. x times what equals 6x? Well, x times 6 equals 6x. And then x times what equals 5x? x times 5 equals 5x. So our area expressed as a product is x plus 5 times x plus 6. Here we have a little different. If we look up here, we can see that a equals 3, b equals 13, and c equals 4. A times C is 3 times 4, or 12. B is 13. So we need to look at what numbers multiplied together equal 12 and added together equal 13. If I start out at 1 times 12, not only is the product 12, but 1 plus 12 is what? If you said 13, you are correct. So I get 1 here and a 12 here. I could have already put my 3x squared right here and my 4 up here because now all I need to do is add a 1x and a 12x. I'll start with an x. x times what equals 3x squared? Well, x times 3x equals 3x squared. 3x times what equals 12x? If you said 4, you're right. Next times what equals 1x? x times 1. So, our final answer is 3x plus 1 
times x plus 4. All right, here we have another one with a number in front of our x squared. Again, a equals 2, b equals 13, c equals negative 24. Oops, I wrote a 12 for some reason. Not sure why. Two times negative 24, or a times c, is negative 48. Goes in the top of our diamond. B is 13. Down here we know we're going to have a 2x squared, and up here we know we're going to have a negative 24. We're just trying to figure out what goes here and here. All right, the way we do that is we ask ourselves what two numbers multiplied together equal negative 48 and add up to negative, excuse me, positive 13. I remind you that the only way I can get a negative product is if I have a negative and a positive multiplied together. So, I just go through my numbers. 1 times 4, negative 1 times 48 is negative 48, but it doesn't add up to 13, it adds up to 47. Negative 2 and 24. Again, the product is correct, but it adds up to 22, so it doesn't work for us. Negative 3 times 16 is negative 48, and if you add them together, you get 13. These are our numbers. We plug them in here with X's, and we try to figure out our sides. We start with an X here. X times what equals 2X squared? I think you know that one. 2x times what equals 16x? x times what equals negative 3x? So our product is 2x minus 3 times x plus 8. In summary, the number in front of x squared is called the coefficient, or a. I need to remember to multiply this coefficient by the constant, or c, term. to go into the top of my diamond. What next? You can log into Khan Academy and do an exercise or log into student.desmos.com. You can try Practice Worksheet 8 or Google Homework 8, or you can move on to watch video lesson nine. Today's lesson or joke for the lesson is a bank robber pulls out a gun and he points it at a teller and says, give me all the money or your geography. The puzzled teller replies, did you mean to say, or your history? And the robber says, don't change the subject. That's all for today. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.